we finally won a league game at Old Trafford. It's been a long time coming. We scraped a 1-0 victory against Tottenham. Thoroughly deserved in my opinion. But some of the other ones would have been deserved wins as well. The likes of Burnley, Stoke, Arsenal. We've hammered them teams and haven't got the rub of the green maybe. We've maybe been unlucky. It's been our own fault. We've given away stupid penalties. We've given away stupid goals. And it's cost us points. But today we've finally got the victory. With Manchester City losing away at Leicester yesterday, it was vital that we stand. If we stand any chance of finishing in the top four this season, we had to get the victory. We couldn't afford to lose and stay nine points behind. We're now on Tottenham's tails in that race for the fifth place. And then hopefully if we can get a bit closer by Christmas, only be sort of four or five points behind. We've still got a chance of getting in the top four. But the problem which we've had all season is we've won one game and then we're not going on, kicking on, winning three, four games on the trot, which is where we need to be we aiming now. We've got Crystal Palace up next, which is going to be a difficult game away. We've got to get the three points, then move on and get more, three more points. It's going to be difficult, but that's what we've got to do. But I was worried in this game today. We've put a strong line-up out and I was worried that because Tottenham have only lost one game all season, they're really difficult to beat. They've only failed to score in one Premier League game all season. That was against Bournemouth, a 0-0 draw. So it, it was a very, very good victory for Manchester United. We've really had to dig in deep for this. We've, we should have won this. We should have put this game to bed, I believe, in that second half. We've had a few chances to put it to bed, but Tottenham have had a few chances as well. David Dez had to pull off a few saves today, one from Ericsson, from a free kick, a few other saves. But overall, I think Manchester United are very worthy winners today. And Mkhitaryan, again, fantastic getting his goal. Absolutely brilliant from him. Herrera was great again today. Seems a completely different player under Jose Mourinho. He's come out and said that we're getting more, the players are getting more freedom to play. He seems to be loving playing under Jose Mourinho. And that's what we want. We want players to want to play for the manager so much. And it seems to be bringing out the, the be a lot better in Herrera. I wasn't too sure... If he was good enough to play in the Manchester United first team week in, week out, if we want to challenge for trophies. But I believe at this moment in time, he, he is playing very, very well. Hopefully we can get a 7-8 performance out of him all season long. Pogba going close today with a free kick. Was disappointed that it hit the bar, but that would have put the game to bed, certainly. But overall, I think we're deserved winners. But I'm not getting carried away at all because we could have quite easily drawn this game. One chance for Tottenham and it could have been 1-1. Uh, we've given away good chances. Uh, there was one where a header, which should have been scored by Tottenham, but they completely missed the header, which would have made it 1-1. But we've got the three points. That was all that mattered today. I wasn't really up for the game before it because of the fact that we were so far off the top four at this moment in time. I still believe that it's going to be a long haul to get back into the, into the race for that top four places. I still think it's probably going to be too much. I think there's still... So much we need to improve on and be looking to kill teams off a lot, lot better than this. Because we're not, we, we could have quite easily, as I say, drawn this game today. We haven't killed so many teams off the likes of Everton, Burnley and Stoke. And if we're not killing them off, we're not going to be challenging for that top four. We're going to draw too many games. I think it's just going to be probably too hard for Manchester United to make that top four this season. I don't want to be too negative. I know some people thought earlier in the season when I said the title was gone, I was being too pessimistic. But... I, I personally think that the title was gone. I th it was really hard to, to maintain, to stay at the top when you fall six, seven, eight points behind. So early on, we could still go on a run like Chelsea have gone on and win eight, nine games on the trot. We've got, we've got the manager certainly to do that. He's employing his tactics and we're creating chances. We've been unlucky sometimes. We've missed good chances that we should have scored. If we start putting them away, we could go on a run of six, seven games but I'm just not that confident that we will at this moment in time. I think towards the end of the season, I think we will improve and start doing that, a bit like Liverpool did last year, and probably be a more of a cup team this year, because we're still in all the cups. If we can win a couple of cups this year and get top four, I would be absolutely delighted with that, considering how we've been the last few weeks. But the three points was all that matter. We move on to Crystal Palace next. It's a shame that Mkhitaryan will probably miss that game. We're just waiting to see how bad his injury is, but it was a massive blow that Rose injuring him. I also, I don't agree when Fellaini come on that he was getting booed and when he was warming up. I, I've, I've slapped Fellaini off a lot, so I don't think he's good enough, but I don't hate Fellaini as a person at all, and I don't think the Manchester United fans should boo him. I, I believe that he's trying his best. He was clumsy in that challenge last week. He's made a mistake. But every player makes mistakes. You shouldn't just boo the player for making that mistake. He wants to play for Manchester United. You can see that he's trying to, to play for Manchester United. He's just not a good enough player to play for Manchester United. He could probably do a very good job at a championship or lower Premier League club. 
a very, very good turn. He's probably an £8 million player. I wish him all the best if he does move on. Got nothing against him. I don't hate him at all. I just think that that is wrong, that people should boo Manchester United players when they're representing the club, certainly if they're trying. If they're not giving their all, if they're doing something stupid off the pitch, they've done something stupid like a John Terry, then yeah, boo the player. But for me, you shouldn't be booing that sort of player. It's like when Wayne Rooney was getting booed for England because he was past his best. He was a quality player in the past. Just because a player's declined, he's getting slower, he's getting older, you shouldn't boo the player, it's just crazy. Anyway, Mkhitaryan was definitely man in the match for me. Herrera was probably second. The defence looked a bit better. Rojo was, was quite decent today. Anyway, make sure to like the video. Hopefully we can get back to, to, to consistent wins against Crystal Palace in the week. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon.